Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli here. I want to talk to you about a brand new VMC product that we have coming out called the Tokyo Rig. You know, the interesting thing in fishing is there are new techniques that evolve all the time. And um, the last few years, I've been doing a lot of traveling. I got to take some trips over to Asia, and on one of those trips into Japan, I picked up on this new technique, a new way to fish called punch shotting. Um, brought it back to the States, worked with VMC, and we came out with a rig that's really unique. It's new, the fish haven't seen it, and it's gonna change the way you present a bait to these fish. And what you have is the Tokyo rig. I wanna talk to you a little bit about how it's set up, how you can rig this thing, the baits to fish it with, and then we'll talk a little bit about the rod and the line. You know, in a nutshell, if you look at the Tokyo rig, it's really, it's pretty simple setup. There's not a lot to it. We've got a barrel swivel connected to an O-ring. This is a totally welded O-ring. We've got a hook that, that swivels off that O-ring, and then on that O-ring below it, we've got just a little leader, little barreled leader that we're gonna use this to add weights to. And the key to the Tokyo rig, if you look at it, is it presents the bait up off the bottom. And that's real unique versus a traditional Texas rig versus a traditional punch rig. The Tokyo rig is gonna present the bait off the bottom and give it a lot of fluid, natural movement. There's a lot of advantage to that, but let's look at how we're gonna add weight to this thing. And this is one of the components of a Tokyo rig that makes it special, is that you can modify this rig on the fly depending on the conditions. So as you're in shallow water, you get a little deeper, super deep water. I can change the weight on this thing real easy. So let's start with one of my favorite methods, which is just by getting some worm weights. Um, right here I've got basically two quarter ounce VMC tungsten worm weights, and I'm gonna add those to that little wire down leader. And a lot of times when I'm adding two weights, what I do is I like to put them in opposing directions. So I'm gonna add that first weight on that leader nose down. I'm going to add the second weight, nose up, pointy nose up, and you've got two weights on that wire leader. I'm going to get just a pair of my pliers, and I'm going to get the open end of that wire, and I'm just going to put a little bend in it. I'm going to put a little J bend in that wire, and that's basically going to keep those weights from sliding off. So I just close the wire, and now when I turn this around, you're gonna to start to get this rig. Now we've got the weights below the hook on a wire. I've got two quarter ounce weights, so I'm gonna get easy penetration. It's coned at both ends. And then as a bonus, listen to this. I'm gonna get that sound of two tungsten weights clicking together. If during the course of the day, I start to move deeper, I can simply open up that wire. I can go in my box. I could grab heavier weights. If I get to a big giant mat of vegetation, I could open my wire, slide off those little weights, put a big punch weight on there and punch through mats. So it's really versatile system that lets you change this weights. But look at this, I wanna show you. This is one of the keys to this system is that that hook is free flowing above the weight. So imagine what this thing's doing on the bottom. It's landing around that cover on the bottom, silty bottom, grass, wood, rock, doesn't matter. And now you've got a hook free flowing above it. The advantage of a wire versus say a short leader drop shot is that wire is very rigid. And a rigid wire helps keep it up versus collapsing if it was just mono or braid. So we've got a, a rigid wire, it's keeping the hook above the bottom, and it's really, it's more of a target for those fish. The other thing is, look at that action. When you've got a Texas rig with a weight to the nose of it, it loses a little action because it's one solid piece. But now with that hook, 
an inch or two off the bottom and it's on an o-ring look at the mobility so that bait's going to have a lot more action and flow to it which is super natural one last benefit of this rig and this is a real important feature is that when you're using a normal texas rig especially with heavier weights half ounce three quarter one ounce ounce and a half and that weight is pegged to the hook it's one piece and when that fish bites it a lot of times when you set the hook that big weight pushes out of the fish's mouth and you totally miss it i can't tell you how many times i've been flipping punching i had a killer bite i set the hook i come back with nothing my my tungsten weight is scraped up but i missed the fish because i pried his mouth open that big weight hurt me on the hook set but not on the tokyo rig now our weight is totally below the hook the hook is unimpeded there's nothing there to stop that instant hook set so now when that fish bites it and i set the hook the weight's at the bottom it doesn't get in the way the great thing about the tokyo rig is it's versatile that you can fish any style of soft plastic you want from creatures to worms to soft stick baits to soft plastic jerk baits anything tubes crawls everything's really fair game on a tokyo rig you know one of my favorites is just a, a a creature beaver style bait you know i just will do a normal texas rig on this hook i'll go go in about an eighth of an inch go around the bend of that hook make sure that bait's nice and straight and there you go there's a look at that tokyo rig and what that's going to do in the water all that free flowing movement the ability to change those weights on the fly super super key rig you know you look at this thing and you might wonder about the number of components all the hardware but the best way i can describe it is think about an alabama rig you know an alabama rig has a ton of components but they get mesmerized by the action of the bait same thing here you know this bait is going to have such fluid movement the hardware doesn't impede the action doesn't impede the number of bites you're going to get even in really clear water i fish this thing in crystal clear water water uh, that's 15 20 foot visibility and the fish love it so all that hardware is not going to affect your ability to get bites or land fish whatsoever you know rod and reel and line basically i'd fish this bait on your traditional pitching flipping worm rod that you would normally fish i prefer a seven foot to a seven and a half foot medium heavy rod my favorite rod is seven two it's medium heavy and on the reel same thing the normal reel you'd use to fish a worm or a flip or a pitch bait uh, low profile reel something with a quicker gear ratio seven to one or higher is perfect and you always want to tie it to that barrel swivel that's attached to that o-ring the great thing about that barrel swivel it's going to give that bait more movement and it's going to stop line twist as you fish that thing all day it's going to present that thing in a different way the fish haven't seen it you're going to get more hookup ratios you're going to get more action out of the bait you know if you're looking for something that's new if you want to stay ahead of the curve if you want a cutting edge technique try this punch shotting technique grab one of the new vmc tokyo rigs modify it however you want i guarantee you're going to present a bait to the fish in a different way and you're going to catch more bass mike iconelli for the tokyo rig from vmc